Hey Damo, hey Jason, what's going on boys? Um, I am having a bit of a Facebook glitch at the moment. I'm not getting any um I'm not getting any comments. So I think I'm going to have my phone running concurrently. Alrighty, what can you do? Not much, lads. Alrighty, let's do this. How are you guys? Thank you very much for tuning in. Um, I really appreciate the quick fill on the break. It wasn't like super, super quick, but I know that um, there's a lot of other stuff happening at the moment, so it's totally understandable. Um, this is, I'm just gonna pan up just a little bit so I can sort of capture a bit more. This is the um, Hoops Hybrid. Nice little box, 24 cards in it. If you did get a chance to check out the um, the YouTube link that I put into the into the description, it actually is um, every card is hollow basically. Hey Norman, what's going on, mate? And um, I think we should start with the megas first, and then we'll move on to the hybrid at the end. So uh, NBA news today. I just saw on Twitter now that um, Lloyd Pierce has been fired. I'm a little bit confused about it. I saw the lads um, talking about it and trying to explain it to me in the NBA chat, but I sort of I didn't catch it all. I'm a bit I'm a bit middling on it to be honest. I. I think if you take over a team like that, I really think ownership needs to give you um, just like a bit more sort of leverage and a little bit more time because I think it's really hard to turn around a team that's been as bad as Atlanta has for a long time. And I think they've been competitive this year. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that they've been uncompetitive. It's just, you know. I, don't, I really don't think that's reasonable. Anyway, Nate McMillan is back in the in the driving seat, and I don't know. I don't really rate him as a head coach. I think he's, you know, maybe one of the best lead assistants that you could get, and maybe he would be, you know, one of the better sort of like mentors that you could get for players. But in terms of him being a head coach. Yeah, I'm just not smoking that. Alrighty, here we go into the rookies. This is Nicholas Claxton, which is super uh, timely for the fact that he is now back into the Nets rotation and um, playing really well. So, alrighty, Roko and. Isaiah Roby, who's got a bit more of a fro going on from when this picture was taken. Alrighty, we've got our first silver, which is going to the Miami Heat. Uh, Kevin Patterson traded these guys away for the Hornets. Heat is Nathan Lee. Thomas, congratulations, mate. That's a nice card. And I also know that I'm breaking against Paros tonight too, so I'm not expecting a massive turnout. CP3, that is going to OKC. And these delicious courtside cards. That is Steph Curry. Anyway, 
I'm definitely going to be reading more about this whole Atlanta thing pretty much as soon as I get off this break. Um, I'm definitely interested to to see how this all sort of pans out. Um, yeah. I'm a little bit confused, boys. Alrighty, sweet Lou. Uh, the other thing that's been on the news in terms of NBA is just the Knicks. It's just been Knicks, 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 Knicks. They are fourth in the East. Um, Tibbs is doing his little magic trick there. He is a crazy good coach. And it really just makes you understand or realize just how good or how important I should say coaches are to what how the team performs so um, alrighty Jeremy Lamb we got a rookie which is Nazir Little that is going to Portland and I can see a silver Grizzlies card coming up so he's hoping for that will be Brandon Clark that's still a nice hit that's not chopped liver that still gets a top load up So, um, the other thing, there was a really excellent article today on the Ringer about the Houston Rockets. Um, it was basically talking about the extension that was offered to Victor Oladipo. He turned down two years, 45 million which I think is a really interesting dynamic considering that he's been injured. So that to me more says that um, he's not interested in staying in Houston as opposed to, you know, he thinks he can get that money elsewhere. Alrighty, Triple J on the blue, that is delicious. That again is going to Memphis. It's unnumbered. Alrighty, Grizzlies is spook. Congratulations, big fella. That's tight. That's tidy. Uh, and it also spoke about how that the Houston Rockets need to be in sort of asset collection mode. Um, and it mentioned about the first round picks that it gave up to get Westbrook. And it also sort of mentioned the first round picks that they've, you know, gathered back after sending Harden away and then sending Westbrook away. So um, they don't have to give up their pick if it's in the top four the next three years. So I think they don't have a heap of motivation to be good. And Vucevic, I'm going to put this card aside. That is going to the Clippers. That is going to um, we traded. That's going to Darren Ralph. Con congrats, Darren. That's a nice card, man. I'm going to hold that Vucevic card because I want to talk about Vucevic in a minute. VC, that's nice, that's going to the Hawks. And rookie, RJ Barrett, that is going to the Knicks. Knicks is Andrew Hart, congratulations mate.
So the talk around Vucevic on the Ryan Rosillo podcast today um, was about the Celtics trade exception. And he was very explicit how that 75% of trade exceptions don't get used. So he wasn't saying that this is a done deal, but he was just sort of throwing out ideas sort of into the landscape. Um, and he was basically saying how that Orlando was, you know, treading water, very injured, and you've got this sort of guy in his prime. You know, essentially, would they do him a favor and trade him to a good team? And I think he would, he would be a definitely a really nice fit in Boston. Um... I think that he's not the perfect fit. I think having a little bit more D in Boston wouldn't, you know, definitely wouldn't go astray, but, um, yeah, offensively, that would be insane. And he would work really well with Tatum. He would work really well with Brown. And I really like the way he can sort of create offense passively. He doesn't really need to you know, have plays run for him. Um, and he's a better facilitator than probably you would imagine he would be. And I think you could really see him running sort of like, you know, two-man game with Tatum. That'd be pretty cool. So I really like that idea. I bungled this up, but that is okay. Alrighty, so we have got six cards per packet. We have got four packets in this box we are looking for the flashes in this which is ironic it says that look for these but I pretty much thought that every card was that alrighty so it looks like I've moved them off the screen but they're just sitting at the top and if you look at this right hand side camera they're still on the screen the whole time lads Alrighty guys, good luck. This is what we're here for tonight. We're through the padding. Let's get to the good stuff. I am not going to be rushing with this, lads. I spoke a little bit about this in um, Kevin Patterson's personals last night. I think this is a really underrated product. So yeah, definitely not going to rush. Dallas Mavericks, Tim Hardaway. The big dog. Gasol and Terence Ferguson. Let's go into OKC. We've got a little bit of upside down action. That is going to the Mavs. Levert. That is going to the Brooklyn Nets. That's unnumbered. That's still a nice card. Alrighty. And our last card from this packet is a purple. That is going to Portland. And who pulled Portland? Zane. Congratulations, mate. That's a beautiful card. Oh, okay. I thought that had a little bit of extra on it. It all makes sense now. That's 25. Congratulations, man. That's a sick card. Damien Lillard on the tribute to 25. Hey, Jack, what's going on, big fella? into the hit pile. Alrighty, that is pack one. We are on to pack two or four. Am I having 
déjà vu. Or... No, sorry, he, that's right, we got the base of him. I thought I thought we got the shock of him too. Alrighty, sweet Lou, that is going to the Clippers again, that's going to Darren Ralph. Oof. Zane, I'm pretty sure, yeah, congratulations mate. This next card you are going to absolutely love. I love it when guys trade a, um, what you might consider a better team for your PC and then you hit what you want. Congratulations, mate. That's beautiful. Jared Culliver. Unnumbered. Well, that is an absolute beauty. These cards are all looking in pretty good nick too. So uh, I was looking at my stash box too this morning and I really need to, um, I hate when that happens, the um, adhesive came off. I really need to get some cards out to guys, so I think um, I do want to try, I'll talk to Martin to see what we do in terms of like who's breaking when. I'm keen to do one more break this week, it's going to be something really little, just a couple of bucks a spot. But then I, I just really need to get out some cards because um, my box is literally just overflowing. So that is Thiebel, that is going to Philly. That looks insane. I'm not exactly sure how they've done it, but the, the straight blue in the background, they haven't put the, like the flash into it. That looks sick. That's Kevin Patterson, congratulations, man. Beautiful. Alrighty, red is Jeremy Lamb. I don't believe this is numbered. No, that's unnumbered. Beautiful. Let's go into Indy. And another rookie for Philly. This is a straight silver this time. Mario Shayok, which I'm not going to lie to you, I haven't seen a lot of. But it is a rookie and it is a silver. It gets a top loader. Beautiful. Congratulations, Philly. Alrighty. That is pack two of four. This is pack three of four. The big fella, John Collins. I'm quite enjoying Collins this year. I think Collins and Compeller is a bit of fun. I do like it when Colin's at the 5 though. That could just be the... The Gen Y me, but um... I like it when they put the ball in his hands a little bit and he sort of dribbles around at the top. He tends to do that a bit more when he's in, at the centre. Hernan Gomez, that is going to the Wolves, that is going to Zane. And that is going to the Warriors, which I believe is Martin Holmes. No, he's got the Lakers, who's got the Warriors? Mr. Lindsay, David Lindsay, congratulations mate. 
pretty sure you have been for a Jordan pool. These look great, these cards. Absolutely delicious. Zubach. green for the Clippers. We have got a rookie it is unnumbered that is absolutely delicious you can pretty much see my face in this picture it is so clear that is Darius Garland that is going to the Cavs to the calves. I probably should chuck that in the top of each other. Alrighty guys, last packet. And we'll do a quick recap, I reckon. Alright guys, good luck everyone. I hope you get something nice. Alrighty, Justin Jackson. Mavericks, Tobias Harris, I picked up two cards here, let me try that again. Tobias Harris of Philly, Portland, he's got Mallow. You think he's going to retire in Portland? I kind of see him doing the Mitch Richmond and just like going to the Lakers or um, if the Warriors get good again, just going to the Warriors, just sitting on their bench being like a 12th man. Let's see the C's, that's Langford. I still like that guy's potential. I feel probably worse about Langford this year than last year. Last year I was pretty high on that guy. Alrighty, this looks something like we haven't hit yet, so I'm going to guess this is numbered. This looks like a red, but not a red, and it's not numbered, I'm completely wrong. Cool, well, let's go into the Wiz. That is Troy Brown. got the wizards I must have missed it the first time eh? Jason Varga congrats Chase that's a nice card and lucky last is a silver Gasol So, alrighty, so let's do a recap. I won't do every um, every parallel just for the fact that it was literally just a box of parallels. Alrighty, so we got Langford, we got Garland, we got Samalik, we got Sheuk, we got Thibault. We got Culver, so that's going to Zane. Congratulations, mate. We have got Damian Lillard, 21, sorry, 20 of 25. We've got a base Clacko. We have got a base Ruby. We've got a beautiful silver Goran. We've got a green Chris Paul. We have got a base Courtside. A base Nazir Little. This is the Laser Gallo, the Laser VC. 
the laser crispy. Terence Mann is going to the clips. Jazz is jingles. Wade bass. Laser vooch. And this beautiful, beautiful laser RJ. A blue Triple J and a silver Brandon Clark. Alrighty guys, that would be just about it. I, th If I'm looking at my feed correctly, we've had zero comments the whole break, so I think that might be a record. Um, that probably shouldn't go into the Hall of Fame, but that is okay. Um, you guys take care of yourselves. Thank you again for the quick fill. I think all the payments are in. Yeah, I think just one shot, but that is okay. I'm sure he'll come through with the goods. And uh, yeah, guys, you guys take it easy. Uh, hit me up if you do want a mail day because I will be smashing out a heap of them. And otherwise, yeah, thanks again, guys. Take care. Alrighty, peace out. Bye.